Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. Uh, CK Too Much here, back at it again with Basilius Kalistos, the missionary of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, in the last episode, guys, we managed to finally make Francia Gaul again, and we have got secured all of it under our rule. Um, I suppose one benefit of, you know, finally conquering so many places is also there are less places to attack me uh, during a defensive, you know, from all the defensive pacts. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so now we have turned our eyes to the land of Jerusalem. So we are going to start with us by attacking Ascalon. Uh, and then after that, we will go for the Duchy of Jerusalem, which is this thin one here. And once we have that, uh, we are well on our way to finally mending the schism, but also uh, restoring Rome. Yeah, we only need a few more. Jerusalem, Alexandria, and Tunis. And after that, we can officially restore Rome. So we're very close, closer than we've ever been. Uh, but okay. Uh, oh, so I'm leading some of the men uh, myself. Uh, Kalistos is an interesting guy. You know, um, as we can see here... Uh, he's a game master, he has experience with fighting, he's a trickster, and he believes in siege warfare. Uh, oh, you know what? I never noticed that I had a twin brother. Very important thing that I never noticed about him. So he died at the age of 19 of poor health. Hmm. That must have been quite a blow to Kalistos. Um, but yeah, he's a well-groomed guy, likes to be put together. Game master, he's always looking ahead. Um, cynical guy, doesn't necessarily believe in religion. Maybe part of the reason he wants to mend the Great Schism is more for power rather than for true belief. Uh, but you know, he's chaste, uh, he's kind, and he's patient, so I'm sure he's a good wife. Um, uh, he's a good husband and father. One thing, though, is that he is content. I've never really understood what that logo is supposed to be. Is it like a ball? with a spoon if any of you know let me know i have no idea what that logo is supposed to be but like uh, so part of me has thought that like if he is content and satisfied with his life he wouldn't necessarily be pushing so hard you know but i feel like he understands that this is his position he's interested in warfare and game mastering so i think it's okay if he does that but okay but yeah uh, i just wanted to say one thing I have really enjoyed this series, but one thing that I kind of regret is I really, it, since the dynasty is so big and you never know who's going to inherit the 105 members, uh, it, I feel like I just can't like get to know many of them. It's been nice to know some of these Basiliuses, but you know you can't know everyone. Uh, okay, so let me get some ships together. I'm going to get as many as I can from just doing this. Because I don't want to... I don't want to like, tediously do this. Any over here? No. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Let's do that for now. I have a lot of money, so it doesn't matter if I really waste it. But okay, we have our shock troops going in, and I'm leading the way myself. So let's do it. How is my personal combat skill? 28. Honestly, that's not that great. All right, let's get it started. So it's not a super strong fortification. It's about fort level five, but they have a lot of men. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know Petra was in this. That's cool. Okay, we'll have to get Petra back. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder what other wonders there are that I don't know about. I guess Mecca probably has one. That's interesting. So Mecca does not have one. Maybe they didn't want to include it. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay. And let's try to get another one. Oh. Looks like we have some looting going on. Despot Kevid of Burgundy has provided me with undeniable proof that Antipathos Jungo 
is a witch and a demon worshiper. Oh, that is great. I will denounce him, giving me reason for arrest and revocation. Will he accept? Ooh, 16% chance. Okay, you know what? I'm going to save that for later. This mother effer has been a huge pain for me, and I would love to get rid of him. I hate having these republics under me. So, you know what? I might make that happen. Okay. I will also siege uh, these guys here as well. We can go ahead and soften them up. Okay, I have pretty high hopes for this. It doesn't seem like a lot of other men are coming into the region. So that is good. Uh, okay. We're obviously getting attacked in a lot of places, but we have managed to take a lot of territory. Or not a lot of territory. We've, we've taken a good amount of holdings already. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's get another thousand here. Uh, okay, so... I will send these guys back up here in a minute. Or I could just send these boats, actually. Okay. Uh, Alright, uh, let's put into port, and then I will bring these ships down. Because I do not need so many. Man, we get a lot of raiding happening right now. Uh, although I'm hoping... Uh, so, when I was attacking those French kingdoms, the same thing was happening, where I was taking a lot of their land but I was getting my ass kicked everywhere else because obviously I can't fight everyone at the same time. Um, but they ended up surrendering eventually anyway, so I'm kind of hoping that will happen again. At the very least, he might accept a white piece. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, because of these global fucking defensive pacts, when I go to war with someone, everyone goes to war with me. That has been... Um, just the way it's been for the whole time. Oh. So we got a little war going on. Between the Fadlids. Uh, okay. Alright, let's see what we got. Yep, yeah, do another assault here. I'm thinking that I'm going to make my bastard brother kind of a force to be reckoned with in this area, the, the Garidas family, since I'm such a kind guy. And I think I like my brother quite a lot, even though his grandfather, or my grandfather is his father, and we have the same mom. Uh, that's an uncomfortable situation, but you know, he's family. Uh, okay, so we are ever so slightly making progress, and still not really any troops that can stop us uh, around here uh, oh right and I can go ahead and put these guys to sea we might end up not even needing so many troops but in a minute I'm gonna put down these boats because they are very expensive and I do not need so many all right come on um, and one more you know what, I guess we could wait for them to. The more the merrier. Uh, okay, can we do any more assaulting? No. Okay. Oh, look at that. He is already down to surrender. That's interesting. Honestly, I've never, um, I have never, uh, seen this happen in this game before in CK2 uh, I'm really surprised that the AI is agreeing to surrender so easily I think that the only reason I think the war score would probably be in the 90s if these random little battles everywhere else weren't happening but okay that's great yeah so let's go ahead and take Escalon 
Oh, wow. Just in time, too. There was a big army here. Uh, who are you? Gergen? Duke Gergen the Liberator. Wow. I had no idea that you were even here. Wow. He is 9,000 event spawned troops. Huh. Well, good for him. Um, all right, then. So, I will just get these guys here. And I will put all my levies down. Uh, okay, wow. So, a lot has just happened. Actually, wait a minute. Um, let me get my guys ready, because I want to... I want to get rid of this, that Jungo, Jungo guy. He has been a real pain in my ass since... I, I think he was even a pain for Foshos. What is this? So you want uh, them to get married? Even though they're from the same dynasty? Okay. Don't know who they are. Odd. Hmm. I guess I should take a look and see what's going on around the, wor the world here in, in a minute. Can I make Pano the Pannonian Kingdom? Or no? Hmm. Okay, there's probably some more kingdoms I could be making. I would really like it if my vassals would take some more initiative here. Are you at war with anyone? No? What about you? No? Zamoyski. Interesting. Zamoyski family. There's a city in, in Poland with that name. Uh, okay, so I will bring them down. Hopefully it won't be too much of a reduction. Alright, fine, that's fine. Okay, so all of this territory belongs to me now. I'm not going to make the mistake that I made last time. I am going to create new vassals for all of these. <clears throat> and look at this man finally I have some territory in this part of the world uh, okay let's give Lida and Arsuf and then this has already been given okay good okay so we can go ahead then and make this douchey and I will give it to my... Well, actually, you know, maybe I should give it to someone else. I think I want to make him Exarch of Jerusalem, eventually. Is this part of any city? Uh, uh kingdom? Yeah, Syria. Okay. Uh, maybe my sister. Hmm. Oh, interesting. There's another bastard in the family. Okay, you know what? Let me take a look. Are there any Isauroses that do not have any land? So my dynasty uh, men who are not rulers uh, highest age. You are an heir to Al Amara. Ah, right. That's right. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess I gave out that territory to all of them. You are a... Uh-huh. Okay, so you're married to Queen Bella Cook. You are the heir to her son. Um, so you don't need any land. You are an heir... You are an heir, 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 Pyrrhus. Okay. You are not an heir to anything, so I can give you some land. Um, maybe Jaffa? Okay. Asios, you're an heir. Prince Kirillos. So you are not an heir to anything. Um, okay. So I can give you some land too. Maybe Beersheba. 
and Serapion. Yeah. Okay, Eustinius. Uh, you are not an heir to anything. What happened to your father's land? Ah, it went to his sister. And then what? His sister is going to pass it on to him? Um, so this chieftain is going to pass to Marikios, and Eustinos is quite low in the in the succession. Okay, so you can have Derum. Um, and then Mr. Garidas. I will give you the douche. Oh, I will give you the vice royalty of Escalon and all of the lower titles. Look at that. And I think you've got a little extra county too. Oh, look at that. And the county that has the name of the douche. Okay, so now. Oh, sorry, I'm just checking my time here. Now, uh, I'm going to go try and take care of this Ragusa man. Mm. Um, but hold on. All right. Okay. I would also like to put all these ships down. Okay, where are you? Okay, you are based out of Raugia. Okay. Then please go here. And once they land, uh, I'm going to put down all my ships. Okay, what is this? Well, yeah, I think we're going to have to deal with a defensive pact. A big one for independence. What is your problem with me? Imperial, elective, title claimant. Ah, interesting. Okay, hold on. So there's a Greek. A Greek one is up for grabs. Let me give this to my uncle. Kingdom of Greeks, Exarchy. Please take it. And hopefully now I will have some more support. And that has made him dislike me much, much less. Uh, he doesn't even have that many men. I would love to get rid of this guy. I'm going to give you some money. Can I marry one of my daughters to you or something? You don't have that many men, so I shouldn't worry about you. But he's always in some faction against me. Queen of Georgia. Um, your sibling is married to one of my king's kinsmen. Uh, what about you, Vassal of Man? You actually have kind of a lot of men. But I could throw you a little bit of money. Uh, and then there... where I just saw him. Oh no, this is someone else. Okay, from Amalfi. Oof, take a lot of money to get him. Okay, but I have some honorary titles that I can give out. Patricios... Uh, Caesar might be a bit much. Maybe I can give you the title of Caesar. Would you like that? You can be Royal Custodian. You can be the... Yeah, look at that. The highest honor in the Empire. Look at that. You are a Caesar. Uh, oh, okay. So I need to appoint a regent. Um, okay. I'm going to give that to my brother. He's not my twin brother, but it will do. Here, you should be my Sebastos. Can you be something? You can be a Sebastos. Can you be something? No. Uh, no. Um, what about you? Yeah, be a Hepatos. Maybe you can be a Patricios. And anything else I can give out? Sebasto Crator. Um, anyone else? Anyone else that I can help out here? Patos, can you also be a Patricios? Yeah, look at that. 
of patrician. Uh, okay, let's see if that helps at all. Okay, here we go. So that has helped a little bit with the factions, but really not not too much. Man, ah, this motherfucker from Bavaria. Yeah, that's uh, Bad Jizzle's uh, son. Honestly, we, we, we're overdue for a good civil war. It's been a really long time since we had one. I don't think we've really had one since Leon the Loyal. Uh, oh, look at that. Epirus. Well, I can maybe give this to one of my pains in the asses here. Uh... No, not you. Maybe someone who's related to me. <gasps> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, maybe not. Mm, you know what? I'm going to give it to my uncle. I think Epirus and Greece are very close. So, Okay, now I'm going to take down all of the ships. Because that shit's expensive. And, oh, he's there. Okay. So I'm going to try to imprison him. But it's really possible that this is going to lead to some shit. I'm actually genuinely surprised that he is not in any uh, defensive packs. Not defensive packs. Factions against me. Okay. 13% chance that it will succeed. But he has acted dishonorably towards me. So no one will care. How much money he does he have? Not that much. <sighs> All right, let's give it a shot. This could spark off a huge war. You know what? I'm gonna get the rest of my men together before I do that. <clears throat> just just the rest of the men that I have personally, uh, because this this could be this could get ugly. This could get really, really ugly. So let, let me get the rest of men that I have here together at Constantinople. Uh, and let's see what happens. I have a lot of loyal, powerful vassals, um, like Italy. And now Greece. Uh, Kevit, I think, also. The Wolfartsons. Um... Gundrada doesn't hate me. And then the... Oh, we need to shore up our support in England. Um... Hmm. Well, I would... I would give you some money, but that's kind of a lot. 125? Why doesn't he like me? Raise levies? Um, oh, so there's a heresy. That's not good. What is my court chaplain doing? He should be out converting people. Yeah, let's start there. Okay, let me get my guys together here, just in case. I want to have, you know, some men. Uh, some men together. Almost got them. And okay. Uh, what's this? Although the conversion of Smolensk was a success, my help is not done. I can't really help them right now. Uh, oh, what is this? After years of planning, he has gone to claim what is rightfully his. So he's going to go for Cornwall. Well... Good luck with that. I'm really hoping that eventually I'll be able to make this Kingdom of Wales. Um, but, you know, that should really be on the Exarch of England, if anything. Uh, okay, so let's move on there then. Hmm. Okay. So I have inherited Wallachia. Okay, so that is good. Right before this starts... I will be able to appoint a new despot of Wallachia. Uh, who had your who who now has your principal holdings? Um, where should Wallachia be? It's here. Um, 
Well, I suppose I will give it to you. Um, you are probably the biggest vassal in the area. So I will end, give it to you. Yeah, and you're the grandson of the former one. So uh, I'll hail the new exarch of Wallachia. Hello, hello. And that's great. So we have a new exarch that is... Uh, in our favor. And uh, you know what? Can I put this chick under you? That would make my life a lot easier. Uh, I can't, but there are a lot of other people that I can do this to. Who are you? Where are you? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Well, I would love to be able to put her under something I can't usurp this title before this specific date that's kind of weird but okay I will keep that in mind what's the date December 2nd of next year okay that's kind of random but okay okay right, so let's just get the rest of my guys here I'm, it, the arrest is probably not going to be a success, but it could cause a huge revolt, a huge civil war. If it does, that'll probably benefit me in the end, especially now that these factions have died down, more or less. I mean, 50% force is kind of still a lot, but it will let us reshuffle things in our favor. All right, so now that I have 14,000 men ready to go, let us send the order to imprison him, and uh, I would love to end this republic altogether. So we have a 13% chance of imprisoning him. Let's see if it works. These guys have been here for a long time. Uh, these merchant republics are always a problem because they're a different kind of government, so they don't like being under us. So let's do it. All right, so he has revolted. And how big is the revolt? Okay. From what I see, not too bad. I don't know if anyone else will join in. But okay. Uh, we will deal with them in the next episode, guys. And after that, I am hoping that maybe we can get make our way into Jerusalem a little bit further. But alright, guys. That's it from me. I'll see you next time.